You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. Head of Engineering at SUS News here in South Africa, Dan, my middle son, uh, did a lot of flying over Easter, which was great. He's great at fixing a multi-rotor pilot. We also harvested a load of signs, signs left out by a cycle race, and the devils had their race and left all the warning signs out there. They're made of Corex, and that's great stuff if you want to make a SPAD, simple plastic airplane design. So look out for these yellow sheets. There is a project in mind for them. The other fun thing we did was get to Maiden, a Skywalker Eve 2000. This is the very first launch of it, and it flew quite well. We flew around for um, about 15 minutes gathering data for my friends, and uh, then on landing, we had another go. We changed a few things and had another go, and the second takeoff, well, that didn't go quite so well. It's Pixhawk inside it. We decided on a stabilized takeoff, and well, you can see the result of that. Not quite sure what happened there. But uh, it was all right in the end, and we got home in time for tea and medals after a further 15 minutes or so of flying. Quite impressed with the thing, quite like it, and I'm sure when the wrinkles are lined out, it'll be a very useful platform. It's keeping the nose up, which is... There's trim issues, but it's better than it was. So that's the batteries. Here it is, that's them down, there's them up. Look at that, that's a lovely draw, yeah. even into the wind, that's a lovely draw. Doing um, circuits our way, or is the yeah. whole of the route? This is, this is as far out as it's going to go. Okay. This is a much better than my hand-fisted hand. On the second flight, we flew an auto mission to gather more data and used a patent-pending stopping device at the end of the auto-landing. Break the rudder. I don't know how long we didn't have the rudder for.